What is up fellow fans of Heyday, this is your host Superside and welcome back to another video of Heyday. Now I hope you're having an awesome day and if not I hope this video cheers you up and welcome everyone that's new to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Now in this video I am going to be doing a review like a mathematical analysis of the Popcorn Maker. Now as you can see virtually everything right here is already like in action and it's it's like my farm's currently going pretty well. I'm just having, I've, I've got a few spells base issues right now. A little bit full as you can see with the barn storage. But I'll sell off some of this creating... No, I, I normally like trading these but currently I'll just sell them off. Hopefully my hood members get them. I'll mention it in the chat afterwards so hopefully they can come and find them. Right, so there we go. We'll sell off. Wait, we'll do that one there again. Okay, so there we go. Plenty of space. Enough space to go looking in the market for bargains. Now as you can see there's been a few strawberries lots, lots of strawberries recently in the market which is kind of annoying because they're filling it up but that's okay because it's still... There's profit to be made if you can buy them cheap. Oh yes, there's the tar. There's that tar. I was looking for that tar. Now I can go to it. Right, awesome. Yes. And go and upgrade my gift shop, which will be awesome. There we go. Thank you, Billy the Strongman, for that. And Victoria the Dancer, thank you for that. Right, anyway, here we go. So we can do this. What? Oh, I must have upgraded something else. Okay, never mind. I, I thought I was... Wait, I must have upgraded it. I Yeah, I already must have... Okay, ne never mind. I thought... Okay, never mind. Anyway, okay, so coming back here and going shopping it once more. Just, oh, th this arrived, the Wheel of Awesome. Wait, first we'll go check out Greg. Greg is awesome. Always bargains for me. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Anyway, the Wheel of Awesome, one of the best things in Heyday. Let's see what we're going to get. And three, two, one. There we go. Spin it in a way. What could it be? What could it be? It could be a... This thing here, Mocha, whatever that thing is. Awesome. At least it's something. At least it's some profit, which is good. Right, as you can see, my coins are slowly going up again. I'm slowly getting near that 2 million mark again, so that'll be nice to hit it for the second time eventually. Right, okay, and we've got we've got some of it. So, yeah, I've currently lots of things are active. Like, I think, like, all my machines are active, which is pretty good. Pretty good for Super Sight. Okay, so there you go. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we can just do two more of those for now. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll sell off some stuff. Right, coming over here. I mean, sell off 10 necklaces. I don't normally sell off this stuff, but I realize I don't need it, and it, it just clogs up my barn, and so I might as well just sell it off, and so other people can buy it instead, because I, I don't need this stuff. Like, I barely ever get requests for it, and it just, it wastes the, all, all my space, so we'll sell that off. Right, okay, so coming over here, collecting these eggs. Right, so how are we doing in the derby? Let's go check out the derby. Okay, so we'll go the derby, there we go, and then we're tasks are looking good right here. So nicely out in the front there. I am very happy with that. That is looking good. So yeah, we are doing well. Okay, so that there is good. We've got those in action. We've got, right, we've got this in action right here. we got this here ready. And whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. And that, and then in here we got that going. And then here we got that. Right, okay, and so over here, we, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for that. So we're looking for base Bacon. So bacon will be nice. Right, so there we go. We've got that and we'll go for that like that. So, and then in here we'll go one, two, three. Over here we'll do that one. Now we need some wheat. Right, we got that all gone. Sweet, this is looking good. And that one, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get some wheat. Okay, where's the wheat at? Oh, oh, yes, refreshed. Wait, coffee beans, yes. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, we'll grab them. Right, okay, so, oh, and this chest, can we get, oh, no, it's locked, that's a shame. Okay, let's go, where's the weed at? Look, like, there's, like, so few, oh, bacon, can we get the bacon? Bacon, let's go, okay, yes, bacon, sweet. Okay, let's go to almost, uh, right, okay, almost, uh, there's almost, uh, almost, uh, right, so, oh, there's some wheat, awesome, 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 thank you, almost, uh. Right, so grab that, and we'll come back here, and then we'll get this machine going. The flower shop, which is slowly getting there, slowly getting there. Okay, anyway, time for the profit analysis of the popcorn pot. That's right. So I have officially three started. I've got that third one right there, which is... I. Uh, and so for those of you who don't know, there's two different things. I call it unstart or start. Unstart means either zero stars, one stars, or two stars, because that doesn't affect the profitability. And start is the equivalent of three start, right? Because that's 15... To percent quicker like decrease is a massive change and so it makes the the stuff way more profitable so that is called what i refer to as starred and anything one two or zero stars is unstarred because it's just the profit isn't quite there now i in the past i have done i've analyzed the sugar mill i've analyzed the smelters and i've analyzed the jeweler so these but i've done all the different products for all of these things because i've unlocked them all and so since i've unlocked them all i have done them 
And so anyway, it's why it's um, it's important is well it's it's because it helps you know which products is the most profitable so then you produce it and so because you see like okay this one's the most profitable and I also reveal the XP calculations as well okay so going we'll start with unstarred so this is unstarred profit per hour so regular pop regular popcorn produces you unstarred 36 coins per hour the buttered popcorn produces you 28.8 coins per hour the chili it produces you 21.2 coins per hour, the honey popcorn produces you 24 coins per hour, and the chocolate produces you 24.5 coins per hour. So the winner of that is indeed the popcorn out there at 36, and the worst is the chili. Right, now, with it starred, and this is what it's currently for me, because I've got it starred, it's the same order of profitability, but it's just, it's a bigger increase, so proportionally, it's like about the same. So, if it's starred, this makes you 43.2 coins per hour, buttered popcorn makes you 33.9 coins per hour, chili popcorn makes you 24 coins per hour, honey popcorn makes you 28.4 coins per hour, and chocolate makes you 28.8 coins per hour. So, the winner is the popcorn out there in the front, then in second place we have the buttered popcorn, in third place we have the chocolate, fourth place honey, and fifth place the chili. Right, so normally what I do is I normally do regular popcorn like so when I'm playing actively, like when I'm on heat, and when I'm not active overnight and so I put on the chocolate popcorn, because the buttered one doesn't take long enough, but that one there covers overnight. Okay, now for the XP, in order, right, so there we go, our first one is the regular popcorn, it makes you 8 XP per hour. This is unstarred. The butter makes you, buttered popcorn, at 15 XP per hour. The chili makes you 7.5 XP per hour. The honey makes you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, the honey makes, honey popcorn makes you 28.7 XP per hour. And the chocolate popcorn makes you 11.6 coins per hour. So, the winner of this one is, surprisingly, the honey popcorn. And so, yeah, that one's out at the front, way out at the front. And the loser, again, chili popcorn. So, all round a chili popcorn is just not the product to go with. It's just a really bad product overall. Like, of course, it's it's nice. By the way, I love the art on this. Just look at the beauty, and I just love it. Just look how colorful it is. You know, it's got the nice white and red stripes, and then this one's got the lovely, like, the, the goldish color with the white box, and then some, you know, some butter pouring out, and then this one has the lovely, the, the nice looking colors with the, the nice chili in the middle, and this one, I love this one. This is my favorite one, looks-wise, because it's got, you know, it's got the the, the colors of a bee with that beautiful dot of like honey in the middle and then the chocolate that one well that's just chocolate I like I like it I think they look really cool okay and then we have it for this is starred which is for me as well 9.6 XP per hour this one here 17.6 XP per hour the chili 8.8 .8 XP per hour the honey popcorn 33.9 XP per hour and the chocolate 13.7 XP per hour. So, XP wise, honey is way out at the front there. And then, so first honey, and in second place, we have the buttered popcorn. Third place is. Third place? Third, third place, yeah. Third place is chocolate popcorn. Fourth place is regular popcorn, which is interesting because it's the most profitable, yet one of the least XPs. And then in total, last place for both things is the chili popcorn. Worst for XP and worst for. Like, worse for coins and XP. So not the best for that one, but yeah, the, the other two I produced right there. So that is that is the profitability for the different products. Right, now, I should I tell you a, a popcorn joke? Nah, it's too corny. <laughs> that popped out of nowhere. Hey, there we go. There's a couple of jokes for you just to, just to keep you going. Maybe it's too cringe. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's too corny, just like the joke. Anyway, that that was that was a joke. I because someone commented, someone commented that they they liked my joke. So I thought, well, if, if if people genuinely like them, I can do a few jokes. If you if you genuinely like them, I can do some jokes. If you don't like them, please do tell me, and I, I'll stop them. But I guess there's always going to be some people that like jokes and some people that don't. Even my bad jokes. Some people, I I like. I love jokes. I think jokes are so good. They're so funny. They're so so funny. Right, yeah, it's just, they're so, so good. I love jokes. They're just hilarious. I'm just thinking, should I, yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking, should I tell you my favorite one? My favorite one, I think, yeah, okay, I'm going to tell you my favorite, one of my favorite jokes ever of all time. This one is absolute, I think it's absolutely hilarious. Why was the Scarecrow promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field? <laughs> 
I just love it. That's just so good because he was outstanding in his field. Oh, it's just, that's a beautiful joke. That is an awesome joke. Oh, that is just so funny. I just love that one. It's, Ricky didn't like it. I told it, I told it to Ricky on his stream and he, he didn't even laugh. He was just like, that's a bad joke. But I love the joke. I love the joke. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Like, oh, that, that is my favorite one. That is my favorite one. Why was the scarecrow promoted? Because he was outstanding in his field. I love that one. I love that one. That one is hilarious. So yeah, that that is that is my my jokes for this this video. I sometimes have jokes, sometimes don't. Sometimes I think them up on the spot. Sometimes I don't. And so yeah, it, it's cool when I think it up on the spot. That 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 one, yeah. So, some of them like you can think up on the spot. Those two I had not thought up on the spot, but some of them I do, which is quite good. It's funny when it's it's even better when you think it up on the spot. But even if you haven't thought it up on the spot, it's still it's still you can get some good jokes. You can get some good jokes going. Jokes are great. Jokes are great. Like. Like, laughing makes you, I've heard this many times, laughing makes you live longer. I'm not sure what scientific evidence it is, but it certainly would improve your health. It makes you happier. It's, it's I just think laughing and humor in your life is just, it's really, it's good for you. It makes you laugh, it makes you enjoy yourself, it makes you happier, as well as this actual, I'm pretty sure there are actual health benefits. They, they wouldn't just make up, like, just totally fabricate the idea that laughing makes you live longer. There would be some truth in that. How much truth? It does. It doesn't. It well. It do, it matters. Truth matters a hundred percent. But like, even if if even if you didn't live longer, I still love the concept of laughing and all that kind of stuff. Although, yeah, it, it, I think it would be certainly nice if it did make you live longer. And I think I think it's genuinely true that there there would be some truth behind the fact that you live longer. Right. Okay. Waiting for these. ducks. Right. Okay. So there we go. Let's get these ducks. So yeah, that that is my perspective. I think laughing is absolutely great. I think humor is absolutely great. I think you should like surround yourself with as many funny people as possible. People that sort of really en enjoy life and stuff. So yeah, that's just that's just like some some super sight. Yeah, that's just from super Sai. okay so anyway coming back to the farm and seeing if we can get some anything some shopping stuff out there and just see if we can find some bargains out there so yeah i am planning to go through the different product the different oh yeah the screw go through the different products and try and find i mean like with the different machines and do a profit analysis on every single one i'm not going to do all the videos at once because it's just i don't want to clump them all together i want to sort of spread them out but what i will be doing is i'm going to wait till i've unlocked all the different products you can make in each machine before i do it and so ideally i'll three sour it as well but that doesn't really matter so for example like with the grill, I've still got this one here to go, so I won't be doing it until I've unlocked all the products in the grill. So I'm doing it, with, and so, so far I've done the sugar mill, I've done the smelter, the jeweler, and now I've done the popcorn pot. So anyway, and so yeah, that's that's just hopefully it helps, so you'll know the most profitable item is this one, and the one that gives you the most XP is this one like per hour. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments. It like it, let me know any farming jokes or heyday related jokes that you've got. I I love jokes. Jokes are hilarious. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This has been your host Super Sai, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.